got saved at a men's home. I was pleading with them and telling them, you know what, I just, I need to get sober, whatever, I'm a drug addict. And they're like, but, but drugs aren't your problem, right? Pills aren't your problem. I'm like, uh, yeah, right, yeah, it is my problem. And they're like, no, nah, drugs aren't your problem. Alcohol's not your problem. That lifestyle's not your problem. Sin is your problem. And the only answer to sin is Jesus. I just knew somehow, some way, wasn't even saved yet. This man called me up to the front and he was like, are you ready to give your life to God? And to be totally honest with you, I didn't even know that you could just say a prayer, right? Give your life to God. Like, I thought you had to do all these things in order to gain his respect. And at that moment on February 26th, on the, on, the, on the first row of the chair, I had an absolute encounter with the Holy Spirit, an undeniable encounter with God. Nobody can take that away from me. And, and you know what I learned is sometimes in the craziness of life, God will show up in a crazy way in your life.